Singer's a rare four p.m. Okay, so we're waiting ten o'clock for this tweet for the Dodgers to see where this Fernando Venezuela bobblehead is. Where are you, Fernando? Let's see. Come on. We already stopped by what Stable Center. Yep. Uh, stop by Stable Center. Stop by music halls. Yeah, we stopped by the Disney Music Hall. About to uh, go through Hollywood. Yep. Gonna check out Hollywood and Highland to see if it's there, and it's 10 a.m. Let's see if anything comes up. Yeah. Come on, Dodgers, slacking. <laughs> Get on it. I've got work. Come on. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. Further east. Okay. So, Fernando took a beach day Tuesday. Today, he's a little bit further east. What's the picture? Dude, I can't get the picture on my phone. Whittier Boulevard, East Los Angeles, where, where the f*** is that? Oh, God, I know where that's at. It's all the way the other way. But I know exactly where that sign's at. Then let's go. Okay. Well, we did it last time. Remember what happened last time when I broke the law? Should we cue that flashback video? Oh, I know, right? This is what happened last year. So, Josh, any final hey, words? Is is next year. Next, next year? Next year, baby. Oh, man. Number one. Okay, we're on the way to, uh, what is it called? Just Whittier, right? Whittier yeah. Boulevard. Cool. Okay. So now we're going to Whittier. Um, we just uh, dodged the traffic on what, 101. Yep. We're on the 60 freeway now. And it's 1027 so it's far. It's fast, so. Oh. 1027. So far. Dodgers haven't tweeted anything yet as far as uh, anybody winning, so... Uh, someone just tweeted something. Uh-oh. One person. We have one winner. Did they say it was a winner? Well, someone just tweeted a picture with the bobblehead. Oh, crap. Damn it. One down, four to go, but we're at the 710. We're in good shape. Okay. As long as I like, weave through these trucks, we'll be fine. By the way, for anyone watching, that see me drive like this, don't do that. <laughs> the There's the that there art. I don't know what side of the street it's on now. <laughs> um, I think it's on the left side. It's on the yeah, left side. It might be on the left side, yeah. I'm just gonna look for the FAMSA. Uh-oh, who's that? Two people. So this is it. Here's the um, Dodge. Dodgers? Dodgers? Oh, what's over here? There's people there. Oh, there's, there's people, people there. there. Hey, is that a parking spot? Yep, one hour parking. Oh, no. Oh. oh That's like seven. That's it. <laughs> that sucks. Damn. When is the next one? Saturday. Fail! <laughs> second year! So that was the second year of uh, the scavenger hunt and we lost again. Come on, man. Please give us like a, some sort of other prize to get our pride back or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we were disappointed in uh, coming so close again, but we did get to have another shot because this year they actually had uh, every other day they had one location that you could go to. I wasn't available to go to this next location. It was held on Saturday. Um, Jason and his sister got to go. The location that was tweeted out was to Bad News Bear, uh, Bad News Bears Field in Los Angeles. I'm not too sure exactly where that was, but uh, Jason and his sister ended up going, and they did win uh, a prize, which I was so happy about that 
I guess part of our team won and we have some vindication of last year. So we got field tickets to the, the game, which was against the Colorado Rockies on the 29th. Um, we also got like a, a little semi-tour of the club area of uh, Dodger Stadium, which was cool. When you go down the hallway, you see uh, artifacts and some art from all sorts of eras from the Dodgers' uh, history. So we had to go all the way from the club level all the way down to the first floor of Dodger Stadium, which was basically where the clubhouse was. We couldn't go in there, which I kind of wanted to. It was closed off and there was a guard there, um, but there was a section there where they had all these jerseys. And for all your jersey heads, it was a pretty nice wall, and that would be a wall that I would pretty much want to have in my, my collection. But um, in this hallway is where we would actually, actually meet a legendary pitcher for the Dodgers organization and for other organizations, especially in Southern California like the Padres, uh, Fernando Valenzuela. And when I got to uh, meet him, I did get my, my Topps 1981 Fernando card signed. And it's actually cool because my last name is Fernando. His first name's Fernando, so it was, it was very cool to meet another Fernando. But the reason why I wanted to get this uh, Fernando card signed is because this is an error card. In 1981, Topps produced this one. Oh, is it Topps? No. Fleer. Yeah, this is actually Fleer. Um, they produced this one, and on the very front of it, it actually says Fernand, and they forgot the O. Um, this is one of his early cards. Uh, it's only listed as one year with the Dodgers, but only two games, so this is almost kind of his rookie. Um, so I got this sign. Uh, Jackie got a bobblehead sign. Jason got uh, his his uh, scoring book signed, and his mom had a picture with Fernando, so... Overall, it was a good day, and of course, to finish the day off, uh, we got to go field level with our tickets. Uh, great seats, uh, and we did get to see a good game. Most importantly, uh, the Dodgers won 3-0 against the Rockies with two big home runs from Matt Camp, and it's weird because I've gone to dozens of Dodger games, and every single time... Matt Kemp has never... I've never seen a Matt Kemp home run in person. I've seen the Andre Ethier three home run game. I've seen James Loney go off. I've seen Nomar go off. I've seen lots of the Dodger lineup like hit home runs. But every single time I go, I never see Matt Kemp hit a home run. So I guess on this day, he decides to go ahead and hit two home runs. One, his first home run of the day was... Uh, measured at 461 feet, which was almost out of the, the actual ballpark of Dodger Stadium. Um, the second at, uh, no, I think his third at bat, he actually almost hit one out center field. And his third at bat, he hit his second home run. Not as towering as the other one, but uh, it was actually special because it was 150th home run of his career. So I got to see something special. Wearing my Matt Kemp jersey. Yeah, if they do have another one next year, guess what? I'm going to do it again. Hopefully, I can be one of the winners this time, but we shall see. Anyways, uh, actually, big shout out to Vince Scully is my homeboy.com. Best Dodger blog out there, besides maybe the Dodgers. Uh, this is pretty much how I get most of my info as far as stuff, so... If you're a Dodger fan, I'm pretty sure you guys already have gone to the website. Shout out to Roberto who uh, puts it out. Uh, avid reader, hope he gets well. I, I've been reading about his blog and how he was in the hospital. So, shout out to you. Shout out to Dodger Nation. Shout out to Pistol. Shout out to G Meister. Shout out to uh, who else? Who else? Um, who else? A Dodger fan? Uh, I forget, but. Shout out to all the Dodger fans, and yeah, summer's not over yet for LA because it's still 100 degrees in October practically, so everybody keep cool.
Peace out.